Hi everyone, it is Sarah with Redbird Vintage and this is the April clothing and a couple accessory request video. Um, if you are new then to request an item, what you do is you just screenshot everything you love here on Instagram um, and you email it to info at redbirdvintagebox.com and, um, and put your full name and request in the subject line requests are not guaranteed they're not first come first serve and something if you're an older subscriber then you know usually you know you have to put them all in one email on like you know the first within the first week and mail them all to us um if you haven't checked out our instagram in a while you'll see i have been posting items for request throughout the month and this is because people are no longer all um renewing on the 15th we people renew throughout the entire month we do have a lot of girls who are renewing on the first though so i know that a lot of you who are watching this probably renewed today and um but definitely check other posts on instagram because you'll see more items for request and um and there will be another video posted that's like um like a merchandise unboxing video um that i'm actually making today because i have like eight boxes of accessories coming in today so i'm gonna try to make a video with that and those items will be for request too um, and, um, and this is just to help so that if people, you know, renew on like the 25th, um, they don't feel pressured to be thinking about Redbird like all month long. Um, if you renew on the 25th, request anything you see today. If you renew today, feel free to request anything you saw a couple days ago on Instagram. Um, send emails whenever at this point, if you see something that you love throughout the month, send it and say, you know, Amy, Bray, you know, April request, my request for this box. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try to make this a little bit shorter. I don't have a ton of stuff to show, but once again, um, I am showing some larger purses, just like last month. Those are for the one-time purchase Lorene's to, um, to request for their box. They're just bigger. Um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and start there and I'll try to give information as I'm doing it. Um, so these purses, I am... Um, so I got on a Margaret Smith kick online. She does these floral handbags and, um, and I got, I got, a bunch, I got a bunch because I, I bought them for myself too. Um, so this one is gorgeous. And then I also got this one that looks like it's brand new. It still has the tag on it. Um, that one opens like that. And, um, and again, you know, the reason the larger handbags are reserved for the Lorene's is just because, um, I pay more for them. I pay, I pay a lot of money for the, for the larger handbags. They're also more money to ship. They also only fit in, um, the large boxes, which in and of themselves are just a little bit more expensive. And, um, so yeah, now, um, Marie's are obviously like, you're free to request, anything you want anything you see there are going to be handbags posted on instagram for request as well that are a little bit daintier that fit into the accessory boxes as well i don't remember if i showed this one last month or not but i love it and my daughter called it an animal crossing purse it's so so cute so again you just screenshot what you want send it to info at redbird vintage box dot com um i do have some scarves and um and i have a bunch of dresses um you know for the lorene's to to request and um but again marie's request whatever you want but i will say that typically it's going to be mainly just you know shirts i don't have that many skirts and um, if i have time then i will do some lingerie as well this is super fun um, basically anything that can fit into the smaller boxes, um, you know, Marie's should definitely go ahead and, and request. Um, obviously Karen's not here and it is sad. Um, her job is going great. She is loving it. It keeps her super, super busy. And, um, she just came over. The night before last and went to dinner with her and joe um and they're planning a trip to cancun to like an all-inclusive resort so i'm really jealous 
and I wanted to go ahead and book a trip to Vegas for my husband and I and then I was looking at flights and the flights are like astronomical we have a trip to Indiana planned in um June or July it's for his grandfather's um like 90th birthday and I got our tickets a while ago and um and when I saw how much the tickets were to Vegas now I looked up how much our tickets to Indiana would be now and they were like $60 more already so it's crazy I guess those gas prices are it all trickles all trickles all trickles down um so these are really fun you know it's you know the winter is is leaving us but um but again, I am still cleaning out. And so I don't know where I left off on the house, the new um, work house space last month. Um, I want to say I was waiting for like the inspection to come back or possibly the appraisal. So the inspection came back and the house has all knob and tube wiring and galvanized plumbing. So this is like a sarong. Um, so, you know, like... Um, and, and we were like, okay, you know, we knew it's old. Um, the location is, you know, perfect. And so we were willing to just, you know, we're going to suck that up. We're going to just do it. These are aprons guys. Um, and then the appraisal came back significantly less than what the owner wanted, which if I'm perfectly honest, Ryan and I kind of knew it would, um, it's just, you know, it's a crazy market and, you know, we, we had a little bit more cash to kind of, um, you know, get it done. The guy wasn't willing to negotiate at all. And so we were like, okay, well, you know, deal's off. And then after we had like filled out a bunch of paperwork saying that the deal was off, they called us the next day and we're like, hey, what if we privately financed like this extra money for you? But we just don't really want to be like in debt to them. And so um, we're just going to, we are going to pull some money out of some, some stocks and just suck it up. But um, it has been, this is like a kid apron. Um, and, but it is like one thing after another. So the house is back on and um, the closing date is now like, April 8th um these are all super cute little vests and um but it's gonna take you know we have to redo the plumbing and the electric so I'm gonna be in this space for at least another month um but I am still clearing stuff out on the last five and ten sale pretty much all of the five dollar stuff sold almost a lot of the ten dollar stuff sold a bunch of coats sold which is amazing um so I went from like three big racks to like one small rack, um, these little Wrangler vest. And, um, and that is fantastic. I'm really happy about that. And then I have, um, one of our subscribers who's actually going to be coming by the house on Monday and she's going to take a look at a bunch of stuff. So she might get stuff too. And, um, and he's like trying to tell her, just because I'm nervous that, that she more feels like it's like a shop. And I'm like, it's not a shop. Like it's literally just like a house in like a neighborhood. And, um, you know, we have like a clothing room and an accessory room and the rest is literally like storage and packing and, and all of that. So hopefully she's not like horribly disappointed. Um, but, um, in the new space, it is, we're going to try to make it just a little bit more conducive to maybe having visitors and, um, I'm sorry, I keep on, I don't know why I always look over here and I, the camera's here. I should probably just flip the phone around. Um, but, um, and this is a modern sweep. I miss me. So, um, anyways, so more stuff will go. And, um, I do think that I will have enough for another, probably just like a $10 sale, be with some accessories. Um, and, um, maybe by the end of the month. And then again, there will be another video post mid month. This is just like a maxi with this slit up the side. Um, 
another request. Kind of like, I mean, it's not really a request video. It's, I'm just, you know, I'm not going to unbox the stuff and show it to you and be like, you can't request anything. Um, so these need to be steamed. They are cuffed. Super wide leg. These are more of like, like a small, super, it's like, it's almost, I mean, I don't, it's like linen almost, super thin. I think I've shown this one for a while. This is a really small waist. Um, just a white accordion skirt. It's going to be really pretty for summer. Anyways, I'm excited to move spaces. Um, I still hope that it all works out. We have not gotten the clear to close yet because we had to redo all of the contracts. Um, so, you know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, hopefully it all works out. You know, it's one of those, you know, if you've ever had to go through the whole real estate thing, you know, it's just like, sometimes it's like nothing, nothing works. And that was a lot of what it was when uh, these are extra small. They're super, super like satiny, silky. Um, that's how it was getting the process for getting into this house eventually. I mean, we looked for a really long time and these are, most of these are like the polyester, like seventies kind of wide leg pants. And um, there were two homes that broke my heart because it didn't work out. Um, both due to appraisals. Um, and, um, but it did work out because the house that we're in now is significantly cuter than the others. It is in a way better location. So I just have to keep telling myself that if this little house doesn't work out, then um, something better is gonna happen. I just don't know what would be better because it is literally right next door. And it's just, you know, summer's gonna be here before we know it. And while I'm comfortable leaving the kids home if I'm right next door, I'm not comfortable driving, you know, half an hour here to work, which means they would have to come with me. And that's just never fun for anyone. And also we have the dogs and I don't like leaving them for that long. It would just be, it would just be a great situation. So everybody send good vibes and keep your fingers crossed that it all works out. Let's, let's hope. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited to get home because one of the lots one of the jewelry lots that I have coming in is called Garden Party. And it, it, I, I spent way too much on it, which I tend to be doing lately because I'm just not, I'm not getting as excited as I used to about some of the stuff coming in, um, which, you know, I'll be doing this, you know, we're going on six years now, you know, I mean, that's bound to happen. So, um, so it's a lot of more like high end jewelry and like um a lot of it is just you know just deco and just that forest look but um gosh I wish I had some of y'all's Pinterest to just like you know put up on the thing to show you but um I'm very excited so these are um god they're not cool lots maybe maybe that's what you would call them cool lots I just always thought the cool lots were a little shorter so, um these are modern um, Worthington, I don't know where that's from. Is it, I don't know, but they're size 12, but they're really cute. Um, they are more low waisted, but really nicely tapered and they have like gold thread throughout them. So anyways, I'm really excited to get into that box and, um, and a woman who I buy from a lot, her name is Maria. I've been buying from her for years and years. And, um, and she just sends me mystery stuff at this point that, you know, we just do like a number and I'm like, okay, well, I need this many items for this much money. And she's like, done. And she sends it to me. It's always a surprise. So those are always really fun. These are um, cool. Apps. Those are always really fun to open. So it's going to be a fun afternoon. Ryan is traveling. He is in, um, he's in Arizona for work. These have fun little pockets. And when he texted me right before this, and he was like, I think I have a cold. He's been gone for two and a half days. And I told him, I was like, well, that's, that's the timing because you went on a plane two and a half days ago. Um, so these are, these are suits. So this is a skirt with a slit and then 
the jacket. So it's a pencil skirt, gray jacket, and then it does come with this cute little scarf that matches it. Um, so hopefully that's, you know, that's all it is. He and my son so rarely get sick. And when they do, it's like they're over it within like a day. Whereas Juliet and I, when we get sick, it's like we'll get a cough and then the cough lasts for like three months. Um, so hopefully it's nothing. Um, so this is a really, really pretty skirt, which I'm gonna show you. I know we've shown it before. It's like a coral, it buttons up the side and then it comes with the blouse and then the top and there's three pieces, super cute. And you know what, I think I'm, so this is a suit too, I might next month, just because I really hate listing things for sale and on eBay, I'm trying so hard. So this is just, again, it's just a pencil skirt and light blue, comes with a little scarf. I'm trying to get into Poshmark. And so if you guys have a platform that you sell on that isn't eBay, and I, and like, I like eBay fine. I really do. Um, pencil skirt top there is a tiny bit you know what I don't know honestly this probably just needs to be dry cleaned because this was dead stock um like I like eBay I just I am um, I feel like eBay is a hundred percent for like deals oh my god so these are part of a lot that I got from the 40s and 50s and it is absolutely stunning and I love it and this is like, this is the type, this and some of these dresses, um, I'm able to purchase them just like the purses because we have people now that are paying $150 for the Lorene. And so it makes our profit margin just acceptable to, um, yeah. So again, I, you know, I always, um, so it's a pencil skirt and then it has this absolutely gorgeous little capelet, but look at that material on the inside I love it so much I wish it fit me even though brown's not even really my color but um oh my gosh like if you're even if you're cosplaying it's like like Nancy Drew or Sherlock oh, so cute um but anyways I you know we, we hate raising prices and and the Lorene going to 150 was something that was such a long time coming and then I only felt comfortable. This is another one of the suits from that lot. And so it's a little bit, it's a little bit bigger. It's probably a medium large. It's gorgeous. Can you see all that detail? Um, you know, it was just a long time coming and, and I kind of wish we had done it sooner now because the, um, the response has been just so good and so much better than I thought it was going to be. And the boxes are so much fun to put together because before there was, there was always, there was stress. Like there was stress of, we're not making any money on this box. And, um, and, and if you watched the Laureen box video, she got like 11 items, I think. And it seems like typically it's, it's between like eight and 12 items that people are getting. And I did just do one where she just got the two items of clothing and the four accessories, um, like it always was, because she got some of the 40s, the 40s dress, she got two 40s dresses. So, um, and then she's really into jewelry sets with, um, you know, I mean, it's just stuff that, that is, that is harder to, to get and come by. So, but it's, but it's just fun because you really, I get to really play around with the stuff. I get to spend money on things that are a little bit more exciting to come in and, um, and that's just, it's, it's fun. It's a good time. Um, so anyways, I was, I love those, those suits. Um, let's see. I don't think I really have anything else going on. We have to get our air conditioning system redone. And so again, if you're new, um, I bought a home that was built in 1908. I should know this, 1905 or 1908. And it's really cool. And it's in um, it's in a really fun location. We can walk downtown. Um, but 
we like we knew there was going to be work involved with it and then after we moved in it has been just like and we've been there a year um we found out like the fireplaces are literally falling apart from the inside we had to just for right now cap them both off because we kept on having birds and bats and stuff like flying to our house um and one of them we cannot fix because it's like the where it is it's part of the structure of the house like we'd have to redo an entire hallway and the kitchen and part of the dining area to take out this fireplace that is crumbling and it goes up through the attic and it's just i mean it's completely like there's no way there's no way to fix it so that one's just capped off and then we had termites and then we had the bats and um the ac is the people who had renovated it, like the people who renovated it before us took it from like a decrepit, like halfway house where there were, and we found like a bunch of like mattresses and bedpans and stuff up in the attic. So there were homeless people living there at what point. I don't know why the previous owners didn't get rid of all that, but they didn't. And, um, and so they took it from, from that where like we've seen pictures. So we know they did a lot um, to us being able to move into it and like live there while doing whatever else needs to be done so that's great but there's just so much um they and so they tried to redo the air system underneath and none of because the we have floor vents and none of the um the ducts that go up to the floor vents they're not the right size so all of them are either too big or too small and they used spray foam to like basically tape it up there and um I might have already shown this one. I'm not sure. And, um, and it, but it's, so it's not working. So it's not, it's not cooling the house. And, um, and we do actually, I leave the doors open because the dogs just, you know, they have kind of like, so these are body suits, um, like little sweater body suits. These are all extra smalls, smalls to extra smalls. There, there, there is a lot of, there's a lot of stretch. Um, so that doesn't help. And I still haven't been able, we have the dog door. This is definitely an extra small, but um, I have not installed the dog door yet. So I need to do that. But so that's on the, the docket. Um, get that air taken care of. So if any of you are thinking about buying an older home, do it because it's fun. <laughs> um, it is, they're money pits. Just like this home next, so the home next door is like 1925. So it's the same, the home next door is the same age as this home. And what happened is that the people who are in it, they just use it as an office. And so this is super cute. Um, they use it as an office. And so they didn't care about renovating anything. So they bought it. So this is, it's like a halter. So it goes around your neck and then, you know, ties in the back. It's so cute. So cute. Um, Oh, and this is a Miss Shaheen too. So it's beautiful. I don't think that there are any spots on it. Love it so much. Um, so they didn't do anything to it, which is why it, it needs so much work now. Although I'm still not sure how they got insurance on it with um, the um electric being how it is I'm trying really hard to make this 30 minutes or under which i'm not sure that i'll make it because i am going to be giving measurements for some of the dresses because last time we had so many people requesting the dresses and they are all they are all pretty small so um this is super fun i put out some hawaiian shirts because I don't know, you know, living in Florida, it's like, it always just feels like summer, but it, it's coming slowly, but surely it is coming. Um, and so again, most of the accessories are posted on Instagram and they will be posted throughout the month, but go ahead and just get your request in, get your request in from this video. And there will be an Instagram dump on the first with a bunch of other stuff, but, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I don't, I don't particularly um, enjoy social media. I've talked to you guys about that a lot. Karen did all the social media, um, before. And so now I'm just kind of, kind of just haphazardly doing it as, um, when I think about it and something that makes it easier is if I just 
do everything through request. And so instead of trying to like come up with, you know, themes or something, because a lot of our request photos are really, really pretty. So this is so fun. I hate that this is still here because I want somebody to buy it and wear it and love it. Okay. Um, so I actually showed this last month. And so this is, this is going to be like a small medium, but what I will say is this, so this fits me and I'm like a, like a 38, you know, 34, I don't know, 40 ish. I'm like a medium large. This fits me, but I, at five, seven, I'm too tall for it. And it, it doesn't. So like, I, I mean, I would say even just five, six would be fine, like an inch shorter and it would have been perfect, which, you know, guts me because it's so cute. This is all stretchy here. Um, but it can fit multiple sizes because it is so stretchy. And if I was shorter, I would be keeping it. I love it so much. Um, this is a 2823 open. Absolutely beautiful. But that 23 inch waist, it's hard. Um, it's hard to find somebody who has that. So this one we had a bunch of people request. This is a 32 with like a 26 waist, 32, 26. And then we can go up to like 36, 37, but it is for somebody who is more um, petite, somebody probably five, six or under, if not more, it is an adorable little baby doll dress, but just because of the way, you know, you can see so it's so so cute um I think I was talking to you guys about places to list items because um yeah eBay just I I don't know I guess I just don't like the look I should probably just start listing stuff and see what happens all right so this is a 32 32 25 and then an open this is one of my favorite things that I got out of the 40s 50s lot look like stop it's you know it's an extra small and I know um there have been a couple girls reach out about prom dresses and um but nobody fits it's so so pretty so this waist is going to be like a 27 bust is a 34 and hips going to be like a 36 I mean, not much more than that super super pretty and this one a ton of people requested and unfortunately the sizing just was not on now this can go up to i mean i would say a 30 i mean it can go up to a 36 if you push it, but I would say like a 34, 35, and then it's going to be that about the whole way down. You can probably go to like a 38 for the widest part. It's heavy. Um, it is going to be one of a kind because it was altered. Um, the bottom was completely damaged. So it is absolutely, absolutely stunning. I'm going to just do the waist on this one. This one, we've got a 28 inch waist. Absolutely beautiful. This would be really beautiful at a fun wedding. And so this one is not too small. So this can go up to a 36. So 36, 26. 36, 26, 36 by Nellie Dawn. Beautiful cream lace dress. And again, if you're thinking that, you know, you want to get a Lorene, but you want to make sure that one of these dresses is available to go in your box, go ahead and email and say, I want to pull the plug or the trigger on the Lorene. This is a 38. 38, 
32, 38, you will need a slip underneath. Um, you know, like I want a Lorene, but I want this specific dress to be one of my items. Go ahead and email and ask, and I'll let you know, and I'll say, yeah, okay, I can set that aside for you or know that, you know, somebody else has already requested it. And so this is my favorite. Well, this is, so I have, I have like three favorites. I have the pink dress, I have this one, and then I have a plaid one that I'll actually just go ahead and show next, even though it's the last one. So this is a 36, 36, like 28, 29, 36, 38. There is no give here. So, um, you know, I would err on a little bit smaller measurements. You know, I've talked before about alterations. If I feel like if you wear vintage a lot, you probably either do your own alterations or you already have a good seamstress. But if you're just getting into it, something that I learned like a really long time ago is that um, finding a good, a good seamstress, because you could pay, I mean, honestly, if you start thrifting yourself, then you could go and get a dress for like, you know, 10, 20 bucks and um, pay somebody else 20 bucks to alter it. And now you've got like a gorgeous dress. But with these, it's like 20 bucks to go in and have some alterations in some places. So this is going to be like a 40 all the way down. It's like a shift. Um, yeah, finding a good seamstress is key. Um, clothing, especially now, um, it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't fit me the way it used to. And I, I get, I mean, all of my favorite, all my favorite items are altered. My favorite vintage items are all altered, but it's just, just a little advice. Find a good seamstress. If you're going to invest in a vintage dress, and um, 32, 32 minutes so far. If you're gonna invest money in something that you love, especially if it's something that's essentially one of a kind, but it's like a little bit big. And even if it's a little bit small, you can usually get it taken out just a little bit. So this is super fun. And that makes it a little, it's always, it makes it easier for me personally to shop for vintage clothing because I used to get really frustrated when you know like something like the waist would be like an inch too small or the bust would be like way too big but everywhere else you know it fit and um and that's when I found my senior and this was in Texas and so a lot of people requested this last month so this is this is a shift dress um I mean I guess you could wear it I mean, you know, I mean, over skinny jeans too, but it's like an extra large. Um, it's because a lot of people thought it was a shirt, but, um, but it is like, it's like an extra large shift dress. Um, I forget my point. anyways, yeah. So I started doing that in Texas and it, it just opened up the shopping for me a lot because it can be frustrating when you find something that you absolutely love but it's too big or just like the tiniest bit too small, which seems to always be my problem. It's like, okay, if this could just be like half an inch bigger, it would be perfect. Um, I'm gonna do the waist on this one. And this one you will need a slip as well. This is a 32 waist. It's really, really pretty. Are you having baby fever again? And I know that, you know, I should not have another baby. We're good. We're good with our, with our two kids. And, um, and every time it happens, I end up getting another animal. That's why we have so many guinea pigs. Have to keep, but anyways, I keep on talking to my husband about possibly, um, getting like a little baby goat and he says definitely not. And then I brought up like a little chihuahua, which honestly, I don't think we should do a chihuahua and this has pockets um because we have hawks in our backyard and when we first brought chloe home um and she was so little it was just like i mean just constant constant fear and i had already you know gotten used to just letting my other dogs outside so it was a whole new ball game for the first couple months this is a 26 inch waist and up to a 38 bust we already had some requests for this one because i think i had shown this one on instagram in just like 
like a pile of some of the clothes that had come in, um, but the sizing did not work out. So it's absolutely beautiful. Anyways, I feel like a hawk would take that chihuahua right away. So I don't know. Maybe I just need to work more. Just keep working. Push it aside. It's like a 25 inch waist. It's going to be about a 32 bust. It's like an extra small. It's a gorgeous bag. Yeah, because I bought a couple items off of Poshmark the other day and I really hadn't ever used it for anything. So this one is teeny tiny at like a 22, possibly 23 inch waist. And it's a 32. And, you know, I mean, it's a pretty, it's going to be like, you know, a, a 34 ish hip, but you can see kind of just the way the dress is designed. You know, this should be pretty crinkly down here. Hold on. I'll, so that's the material. And then you can see probably bows, a bow right there. Um, but anyways, and so I'm looking on there for, for like vintage and, um, and I found some, and I don't know, I guess I just, I guess I just like that. It seems like a nice community. So this is a 24 inch waist and a 32 bust. Um, so yeah, it just seems like a nice community. And I was like, well, this might be fun to, to list on here. Um, cause yeah, eBay, I just, I always get like, I mean, like, I feel like my prices on eBay are, they're always like pretty low. Cause when I put stuff on eBay, it's literally just like, I want to get rid of it. This also comes with the belt. And, um, and it never fails when I have somebody who's like, will you take 50 cents for this? And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, like with eBay fees and, and I usually do free shipping. It's just, I don't know. So this is a 26, 27 inch waist and a 34 bust. And this is just, you know, like a cotton blend type situation. Really, really pretty, super swishy. Um, So anyways, but if there's any place other than Poshmark that I'm missing, oh, and I've done Etsy too. And Etsy, I mean, we might do that too, because I do feel like a lot of people just go to Etsy um, to do vintage. Like that's like where you go. And so this is tiny. This is like a 22, 22 inch waist, 32 bust. And it says youth fair juniors. So you have to be super petite to have this. I would say five, one, five, two, five, three, five, four. I might, I feel like my, my, my ability to know height is, is not very good. Cause I am so five, seven, six, five, four, three. Yeah. Like, I mean, five and any, anything below probably five, four would be good, but this is so cute. So fun. Um, but yeah, I had my little Etsy shop for a while and, and that was, that was fun. I like the look of Etsy is a 26 inch waist it does have a little jacket that goes with it and a 34 inch bust so I'll show it to you with the jacket and um you know I've had quite a few of you reach out when the new season of Marvelous Miss Maisel came out and you were asking for you know outfits like that and do we ever come across them and um and you know that answer is yes um but it is like by luck and those were also things that even at estate sales, we usually couldn't even afford when the Lorene's were a hundred dollars because dresses like that, I mean, they're going to be, you know, 30, 40, $50, even at estate sales. Um, but I do feel like some of the dresses that I got in last month have that vibe. It's a 26 inch waist and a 34 inch bust. Um, you know, because we've always said it's not a deal box. And if you girls are having trouble finding a certain item at a good price, you know, the chances of us having, you know, those issues is going to be probably the same. It's just that that's our full-time job. So this is going to be like a 34, 35, possibly 36. It's got a lot of stretch. Um, and then 26. And so again, the difference is that it's our full-time job. So I can just look a lot more and I do have connections to where, you know, if I go to, you know, certain warehouses and I say, look, I'm going to be buying, you know, like $2,000 worth of clothing. Can you give me a better deal on these items here? You know, they'll do that. So, so we have that as well, but, um, 
those her outfits are absolutely phenomenal if you guys haven't seen the new season you should definitely watch it this is a 26 inch waist with a 34-35 bust and again this comes with the little jacket as well and it is But yeah, to have lived back then with that fashion. Um, so this is going to, this is, you know, this is pretty just open because it's got a, a back. I think I talked about this last time that I had purchased this for myself to match my daughter at a picnic a while ago. And um, it's done. Okay, so this is the other dress that I got in that lot that I love, love, love. It's a 28 inch waist and max 36 bust, but I would go more like 34, 35. It is so cute. And it is a Susie Perrette, New York dress. So you've got a great name. You'll know the quality. I mean, honestly, all the dresses that I got in this lot were absolutely, absolute perfection. Um, yeah, and then we got this in a while ago, and this is just going to be, I mean, I'm just going to say that it's like an extra small, um, looks like a 22 inch waist. So it's the skirt. Okay. It's a long skirt. And then this comes up and it wraps around, you know? So it's like, do you know what I mean? It's so, you know, it's so hard to see. I might have to end up putting this on a, um, on a mannequin but if you know kind of like that that wrap that wrap dress situation that's what this is and this is the material for it um okay and you know i mean i know i could show more but we're just gonna keep it a little bit short um so yeah you know screenshot what you love here and on instagram um you know i'll show you guys some house dresses while i'm wrapping up um, you know, requests are not guaranteed. They are not first come first serve. And there will be another video posted in just a few weeks. Definitely check out Instagram and all the stuff on Instagram. Um, I have kind of just let our Facebook page go. Um, I don't have Facebook on my phone. I don't like Facebook. Um, so I know in our welcome emails, we still say, Hey, we have a Facebook group and we do. Um, but I don't think too much is happening there. Now, if you girls are on Facebook and you want to start doing stuff to, to get it going again, start posting your stuff, go for it. But, um, yeah, I just, you know, social media just, it, it just kind of depresses me. And, um, and so I try to not be on it too much. And I actually don't like Instagram too much because... I like, I like seeing all the pretty pictures and, and I only follow, um, like vintage people. Like I used to follow a lot of influencers who did like the, like to know it links and stuff. And guys, I was spending so much money because they all looked amazing. And the stuff would come in and be like, this doesn't look the same on me. Um, but it did, it just got to be like, just such a comparison thing to where I just, I just had to stop. So, um, you know, if our social media seems a little a little low it's because Karen used to do it and now I do and I just don't have a lot of bandwidth for sitting in front of it and um and getting it done and I am working with somebody who and this is just like open I think I showed this in the sale video but it's so cute um who is teaching me kind of how to um like do it all at once like it's been like a day and then you schedule all of it but it just hasn't, I just haven't, haven't done it yet. A lot of people requested this jacket. This jacket is, um, super small. Um, like it's for like a child. Um, so I just, you know, just know that. Let me really quickly take the measurement on this. Cause it's, it's super short. Um, like that's the, that's the thing. It's, you know, it's like a 32 bust. And the waist is like max 30, max 30 on the waist. 
and it's short. So again, I'm five, seven and this is like, if it hits the floor, this is where it hits me. Okay. So hold on. I mean, obviously this is not super scientific. God, 14 inches. That doesn't make sense. Well, I don't know. It's, it, it's really, it's short. Um, so, you know, I mean, I'd say you have to be like five feet tall to get into that, but I had actually purchased it originally thinking that Julia could wear it. I think I said that last month too, but I'll go ahead and show because I don't really feel like taking it with me. Okay. All right. That's it for now. If you also have any questions, email info at redbirdvintagebox.com. Screenshot what you love. Um, and, um, and once again, like if you're like, oh my gosh, I want to have this Apple purse and I'll get a Lorene to get it, but I want to make sure that I get the Apple purse. Email and be like, Sarah, $150 is a lot of money. If I get the Apple purse along with, you know, the other, you know, five to 10 items, I'm in. Then I'll email you back and I'll be like, sweet. The Apple purse is available. It's one of your items. Some girls request their entire boxes, so I don't mind that either. It makes my job a little easier. And I guess that's where the deals would come in too, that if you're getting, you know, six, seven, eight items that you absolutely love for the 150, but we don't call it a deal box. Okay, that's it. I hope you girls are all doing great and we'll talk to you later.